Hello everybody, it's Acidic Blitz of a, of a City Gamers, and take it away, Acidic Saiyan. Go. Alright, today we have another part of It's Time to Duel, and once again we're here to kick some ass and play some card games, and we're all out of ass. That is correct. Ass has left the building. I don't think we want him back, really. Be quiet. He's like an asshole, I mean, honestly. Quite disgusting. All right, so today we're not using the dragon decks because we we're just too good with them. We're too good with them. It's embarrassing. Even if I draw a crappy hand. Yes. <laughs> oh my great. god. What? I keep drawing this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Pick something other than scissors. There Thank you god. go. <laughs> Let's go first. All right. All right today we're going to use a burn deck. Okay, it's recording. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. What? <laughs> go ahead, continue. I was making sure it was recording. Oh, well, we're <laughs> using a burn deck, which basically means we're going to try to destroy the life points without attacking them. And it should be quick, hopefully, if we get the right cards. The right cards, indeed. So let's hope I don't get a hand like the last duel. I would surely hope to not disagree to disagree to not, yeah. Perfect sense, as usual. I know, I'm, just, I'm so good with sentences. I, I'm, I mastered the English language. I'm sure our English teacher would agree from last year. I'm sure he would, I almost said she. <laughs> I think he'd be right. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know he's not watching this, so we can insult. <laughs> no, he is not. Oh wow, that's an effective card right there. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna test something now. I wonder if I mute my mic, it will mute my mic in the recording. And it does. Sweet. Congratulations. So I don't All have right. to annoy you guys with my sniffing and coughing. So props to you guys. Alright. So he's thinking, and this is boring. And I cannot... Oh, oh, what's the point? Uh, possible you bell deck? No, please. Oh, yeah, people aren't that smart. <laughs> totally. And for you viewers out there, we will use a different deck every single time we do one of these, just so you know. And if you guys want us to make a specific deck, just ask and we'll do our best, even though we might fail. Actually, oh, I will guarantee a fail. A fail. Sorry. Oh, come on. Hey, I'll end my turn every single round without doing anything. We've okay, done it so before. <laughs> I know. Okay, that was, that was a smart move. What, what do you get out of it? A hunter owl. <clears throat> that is like the most, that's the most powerful card in dual monsters. Mm. Let's hope we don't get some Brooklyn rage in here, or maybe some Egyptian rage. I don't know. I always approve of Rage of the Brooklyn variety. I felt like this was more funnier when, you know, I was more talking funnier? at a game show type of host. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you took college English, and you exactly. still speak like that. <laughs> I took college English, and it's okay, though. And I'm going to take more college English, you know, when I go to actual college. <laughs> right. And for you viewers out there, you don't know what we're talking about, and it's going to say that way. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't switch decks. Oh. Nice going. <laughs> so now we're going to fail, and you're going to see us lose. I wouldn't go that far. I would, as a matter of fact, because my deck destroys your deck pretty much. Uh, yeah, but, you know, the multiplayer's kind of messed up in that regard, because I, I did load the other deck, but... Yes, maybe you should probably start hoosing these things. Too much work. Pick one of ours, please. Oh, you noob. You wouldn't pick one of ours? That's just unfair. No, that's not pleasant. Okay, so... That was useless. Explain what you're going to do here. I'm going to set this down as a bluff card. And... Hmm. I don't know. 
You don't know. Well, I'm going to say Arm Dragon will be worthless because I don't have the other ver- versions of it. All right, then. I'm going to go ahead and set this dragon face down so when they attack and destroy it, we we don't lose damage even though it's in defense, but that's also its ability, and whatever attacks it will get destroyed. Good move, good move. Appropriate move. Very well thought out, strategic, I like it. It's like Hutch with chess. So we're going to slaughter them with like four cards? Exactly. Wow, they have the same exact card. Oh, that's not pleasant at all. <sighs> How I'm did so I guess? Saying, what is your power animal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to say gopher. <laughs> Please go into detail. Well, I think gophers are pretty good because they know their place in the animal kingdom, and I think that's important. I mean, they don't think they're a, a lion, but they also don't think they're a lizard either. They're just a goddamn gopher. <laughs> that is a very good power animal and explanation. Good job with saying. Props to you. You have won $29 billion. All right, when do I see a check for this? You will see a check for this in 72 million years. That's appropriate. All right. I know. What's yeah, your power know. animal? My power animal would be the cobra. All right. Because it's long and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> By that I meant tall and skinny, just so you guys know. I didn't mean it like that. And you may think we're going to lose here, but I have so many traps, it's unbelievable. There we go. And that is it. I believe Sig Sang is in an important phone call at the moment. So it's all to me to entertain you guys. So, what I did was set this monster trap so whenever they attack it, they lose life points equal to their monster's attack points. Always a good trap, always a good trap, always a good monster. I set down widespread ruin so whenever they attack, I destroy whatever monster they have with the highest attack points. And I set barrel behind the door so if they do an effect, take away life points. It's okay. Uh, hmm. Sorry about that, telemarketer. Just hung up on them. <sighs> Those damn telemarketers. You should have told them to do something better with their what lives. Is, what is this something? <clears throat> I, I don't what know. What advice would you give a telemarketer? Oh, I would personally tell him... That telemarketers are totally not super special awesome, and I will Brooklyn raid if he calls me again. But what if they try to argue with you and think they are spe- super special awesome? I would go to their house and slap them a few times. That's quite effective. I know. We're going to lose, you realize. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't have decks that synchronize and you're trying to tag duel. So... <laughs> yeah. This was planned all along. It wasn't a mess up on my part. <laughs> okay, okay. That's taking a bit too far. I Unless know. you get a Marshmallow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marshmallow is my go-to card, <laughs> a.k.a. my clutch card. Oh. I use it all the time. Oh, so you have all the arm dragons in your hand. Gateway Master showing up again for the second time in a row on these videos. He just wants to be a part of your life. <clears throat> I know, I know. Gateway Master, if you're listening, you are a beast at Black Ops. So, this is the end of the road. We showed one video of us dominating and crushing, and now you get to see us get crushed. I'm going to blame it all on Saiyan. I'm going to accept that blame. Because he is clearly not a, a... I don't even know. He's not a real Saiyan, so I mean... My power level is, in fact, not over 9,000. I'm very ashamed to admit that. Oh, oh crap, we actually have another chance. Oh. Well, if I can get a red eyes, I can turn this whole thing around. If I can get a marshmallow, let's hope for the heart of the cards here. Or Spirit Reaper. I want a marshmallow, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Back and down. Marshmallow powers, activate. Now, for those of you who don't know what marshmallow is, it's Ah. a monster that cannot be destroyed in battle, and when they attack it while it's face down... They lose a thousand life points. That is true. So it's a very good That's... defensive card. 
<clears throat> I'm just setting a ton of bluff cards at the moment. <clears throat> Don't worry, this is how we do things. We go down to almost zero life points and we clutch it back. As you saw in our bonus clip, they had 14,000 life points. We had 2,500. And we still won. Yes, we did. This is not looking too well for us. <clears throat> well, I can clearly only pick one. Yes, we have a rat. Well, always at least wanted. when it's destroyed, we get another monster. I have a negative attack down. I don't think I even have any other earth monsters. Well, then I can sacrifice it. So you want me to let him attack? No. Negate attack. Okay. I can sacrifice it for Arm Dragon. Okay, I just sneezed, so pardon that if you actually heard it. Ah, oh, red eyes. Not the right one, though. So many forms of it. I know, besides the original, you know, now it is. Yeah. Alright. So now, we get Arm Dragon level 5. Now, do you want me to... Ooh, I can use his ability. Oh, yeah, destroy the monsters for days. Let's get rid of little red eyes here. Good cut. Wow. And they rage wow. quit. That's and, uh, uh, Brooklyn Rage. So, we won. I mean, we could have lost, but, you know, we won that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed us rage quitting to victory. Wait, we didn't rage quit. They rage quit. I know, but I meant to say it like that, okay? Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you on the next episode of It's Time to Duel.